amazing when you can see what God is saying. It's just so amazing when you can see what God is seeing. Hallelujah. And this morning again, we are speaking the word of God. Hallelujah. We speak the word over every situation, over every circumstance, and God shows forth himself in our life. Genesis 1, 28, the Bible says, God bless them and said to them, be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky and over every living creature that moves on the ground. God bless them and said to them, now you are part of that blessing. So this morning we're starting by saying, Lord, Thank you for the blessing to be fruitful and multiply. Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy, oh God. Thank you for the blessing this morning. So we are going back to the beginning. When God started with you and me, he blessed us and he spoke into us and he declared that we should be fruitful. So this morning we are thanking God because we are expanding. We are breaking forth. Remember, this month we said we are looking at a thing to recover and as we know that when you begin to recover, things begin to expand. So best someone doesn't just recover to stay the way he is, we recover to grow. And that is our declaration this morning, Lord. Thank you for the blessing to be fruitful and to multiply. Thank you for your love and peace. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Someone needs to just thank God for peace this morning. Probably you, you are not even feeling peaceful because we are not sure of what the week will look like. But I want to tell you that because you are starting it with God, speaking the word of God into your life, peace is coming. Jesus said, my peace I live with you, my peace I give to you. He said, not as the world gives to God. Not as the world gives to God. So we are declaring this morning by faith we are speaking speaking the word of God into existence, into our reality this morning. And we are prophesying, declaring it, that God, thank you for your love and peace. Thank you for putting me in charge of everything you have made, everything. Look at what the Bible says. Say, rule over the fish of the sea, rule over every living creature. You are a ruler. That is your destiny. That is your reality. God has put everything under our care, under your care, under my care. So this morning we're saying, Lord, thank you for the grace to fill the earth and to put everything under control. God wants us to rule this earth. God wants us to control this earth. So if we are not fulfilling that purpose, it is no longer God, it is us. We are the ones that need to step up. We are the ones that need to take our place. God has already given us that responsibility. God has already given us, yeah, God has already given us that charge, but we need to, to, to step up. We need to step up. And that is what God is expecting of us this season. So somebody said, Lord, thank you. Thank you for the grace to fill the earth as I go forth this week. Thank you, Lord, for putting everything under my control. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. So we're still praying from that same Bible verse. That same Bible verse, God bless them and said to them, be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky and over every living creature that moves on the ground. So we are declaring this morning, I reenact this covenant of blessing today. I declare I am blessed. I am fruitful in every way, physically, financially, spiritually, and in the works of my hands. I speak increase over all that concerns me today. I fill the earth with my creations and bring everything under subjection. Everything answers to me today. Everything answers to me today. In the name of Jesus, somebody pray this morning and speak over your life. I reenact this covenant of blessing 
today. I reenact this covenant of blessing today. I reenact this covenant of blessing today. I declare that I am blessed. Hallelujah. I am blessed. I declare that I am blessed in the name of Jesus. I am blessed. Jesus has restored taught me to my original position. Oh, thank you, Jesus. So I am blessed. I am blessed. I am fruitful in every way, physically, financially, spiritually, and in the works of my hands. I am fruitful. Somebody speak to yourself. Touch your body. My body is fruitful. In the physical realm, I am fruitful. Biologically, I am fruitful. Spiritually, I am fruitful. In the spirit realm, I have the capacity to, to be able to conceive things in the spirit, to see what God is doing. I have the capacity to be fruitful spiritually. I am bearing fruit in character. I am bearing fruit in in wisdom and bearing fruit in relationship, I am fruitful in the works of my hands. Can you speak over your work this morning? I am fruitful in the work of my hands. God doesn't just want you to do one thing and then you are just there. And after so many years, you have lost touch and you have lost relevance. No, God wants us to keep evolving, to keep evolving. Nothing in the world is stagnant. So we cannot be stagnant. Your career cannot be stagnant. So I prophesy over someone today, as you listen to this voice and engage this prayer voice, I declare in the name of Jesus, every oath of stagnation is broken over your life. In the name of Jesus, every oath of stagnation is broken over your life, destroyed over your life. In the name of Jesus, I speak increase over all that concerns me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Speak increase over your business. Speak increase over your career. In case you are even a career person, you earn salary, speak increase over yourself. Speak increase over your children. Today, I feel the earth with my creations and bring everything on that subject in the name of Jesus because God is going to be giving you ideas so begin to speak it forth now today I cover the earth with my creations today I cover the earth with my creations I am a city on a hill I cannot be eaten no man light a candle and put it under a bucket he said no but on a lampstand on a lampstand I declare in the name of Jesus, I cannot be hidden. Enough of hiding. Enough of hiding. I am stepping out into purpose. I'm stepping out into increase. I'm stepping out into enlargement. Into enlargement in the name of Jesus. And as I step out today, I prophesy everything answers to me today. Everything answers to me today. Seen and unseen forces. A answer to me today in the name of Jesus opportunities answer to me today in the name of Jesus Father we give you thanks we give you praise Jesus hallelujah hallelujah glory to God Psalm 112 verse 2 the Bible says their children will be mighty in the land the generation of the upright will be blessed as we begin to bear fruit, <laughs> the Bible says that whatever fruit you bear will be mighty in the land. Whatever fruit that comes from you, whether it is from your mind or from your body, the Bible says that it shall be mighty, mighty, mighty. It will be massive. So this morning we declare this blessing of increase extends to my children and all that emanate from me. This blessing of increase extends to my children and to all that emanate from me. Can you speak over yourself today? Prophesy over your children and declare the blessing over them. I speak the blessing over you, Justina Jaya. I speak the word of God. I speak 
speak, you are fruitful. In the name of Jesus, you bear fruit spiritually. You understand the things of the spirit. You grow in understanding of spiritual things. I declare in the name of Jesus, you are fruitful in your body. You are fruitful in your body. You are fruitful in your mind. You have the capacity to create things. I prophesy over you. You have the capacity for creation. Nothing will be able to stop you from maximizing your potentials. Nothing will be able to stop you. In the name of Jesus, I declare that my children and ideas are mighty upon the earth. My children and all my ideas, my brain children, my bodily children, I declare in the name of Jesus, you are mighty upon the earth. You are mighty upon the earth. You are mighty upon the earth in the name of Jesus. The Bible says the generation of the upright will be blessed. You know, I always say this, that every of God's blessings is transgenerational. It can't just be about us or just about our generation. God wants to do something great that is beyond us, that is far beyond us. And so we declare this morning, my children and my ideas will outlive me. In the name of Jesus, no idea dies with me. No idea dies with me. No way, no way. They go from generation to generation. My children will outlive me. In the name of Jesus, I Speak over my children. No matter how long I live, the Bible says, with long life, I will satisfy you and I will show you my salvation. And that blessing is for me and for my children. Hallelujah. Everything that emanates from me, every good thing, every idea, I will outlive me. In the name of Jesus, I declare that that will be relevant from one generation to another. Can you begin to receive? insight this morning, insight to be relevant across generations such that in the next 20, 30 years, people are still engaging your service. People are still engaging your products in the next 20, 30 years. Oh, thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, awesome God. Thank you, awesome God. This is your dream, Lord. This is your dream, Lord. In the name of Jesus, my children and ideas are mighty upon the earth and are relevant from one generation to another. In the name of Jesus, I am always in vogue, in vogue, always in vogue. In the name of Jesus, always relevant from one generation to another. Hallelujah. Because my generation is blessed. Hallelujah. My generation is blessed. Glory to God. Blessed. Hallelujah. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, mighty God. My children and ideas are outliving me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That business will not die with you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It cannot. It will not die with you. You are going to sustain it. You are going to grow it and hand it over to the next generation. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's verse 3 of that Psalm 1 to says, Wealth and riches are in their houses, and their righteousness endures forever. As God begins to bless your idea, bless what you do, the implication is that there will be wealth and riches. It will be wealth and riches. So this morning I declare, wealth and riches are in my house. Somebody prophesied today, you can move around your house and touch the walls of your house and declare that in this house, wealth and riches 
are in my house. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You know, I, I remember the first few days when we got married, eh, you know, and then uh, we were praying uh, over our house and, and symbolically my wife and I, we went to the kitchen and we were declaring, we said, look, in this house, there will always be more than enough. We will never have any reason to ask anybody for anything, any time. Everything we need will be provided. And God has been faithful in season and out of season. God has been faithful. We have never lacked anything to sustain us. Not It has never happened. Never. Because God on us is God. Hallelujah. So somebody has to take it this morning and declare over yourself that wealth and riches are in my house. My storehouse will never run dry. <laughs> my storehouse, my storehouse will never run don't dry. Speak to yourself this morning. Speak over your situation. I'm prophesying over someone today enough of living from hand to mouth. Amen. God is bringing you to a place of abundance. It's a spacious place, a spacious place, and you are entering into that season. And so I prophesy over that person this morning, receive the grace to walk in this reality. In the name of Jesus, I declare I have massive rewards for my contributions to humanity. I am rewarded massively. I am rewarded richly for my contributions to humanity. Hallelujah. I receive the wisdom to scale up my ideas and create businesses that will serve important personalities in the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I receive the wisdom to scale up my ideas and create businesses that will serve important personalities in the world. I am a global champion. Hallelujah. I declare once again my impact endures forever. I am a global champion. Now, somebody prayed this morning. It is time to scale up. It is time to scale up. It is time to scale up. So receive the wisdom to scale up your ideas and create businesses. Create layers of businesses that we some different layers of people in the society receive that wisdom this morning receive that wisdom receive that wisdom to scale up to scale up to scale up to scale up in the name of jesus receive the wisdom today the wisdom to scale Scale up in the name of Jesus. Scale up your ideas. Create businesses that will serve important personalities, VIPs, in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, awesome God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Psalm 92, verse 12 and 14. The Bible says the righteous will flourish like a palm tree. They will grow like a cedar of Lebanon. They will still bear fruit in old age. They will stay fresh and green. Hallelujah. Who am I talking about this morning? Who am I talking about? Glory to God. All round increase, increase in season and out of season. I declare that I'm flourishing in all aspects. I grow like a cedar, useful and relevant for all seasons. Useful and relevant for all seasons. Useful and relevant for all seasons. In the name of Jesus, I am fruitful both in season and out of season. Whether it is my season, or it is out of my season, I am fruitful. Hallelujah. Both in season and out of season, I am fruitful for many years to come. I am still fruitful, full of ideas and creative solutions. I declare that I am fresh every day. Every day someone received that grace this morning to remain fresh that every time people come in contact with you or your product or your service, there is something new, there is something new, there is something new. Receive that grace this morning, the grace to keep growing, 
the grace to keep expanding, the grace to keep seeing possibilities. Receive that grace this morning. 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 You are unstoppable. You are unlimited. You are the light of the world. A city on a hill. You cannot be eating. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody declare this morning, I am useful and relevant for all seasons. I am useful and relevant for all seasons, both in season and out of season. I am fruitful, hallelujah, hallelujah. Whatever I touch prospers, whatever I touch fails. In the name of Jesus, I am fruitful in season and out of season. In season and out of season. God will give you praise this morning. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, awesome God. Hallelujah to your name, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. That's the last part. Hallelujah. It's as if she just continues speaking into the week, into the day, and more importantly, into the future. Hallelujah. So we're going to continue again tomorrow. And, you know, like I always say, uh, please, as much as possible, keep saying these prayers again and again don't let it end here don't let it end here until there is a release in your spirit that what you are asking for is set to be sorted hallelujah glory to god i remember share the link let somebody be blessed also tomorrow morning hallelujah so like it's our custom we close with our close out charge before we exchange pleasantries, all right? So if your place is not too noisy, you may want to unmute. And let's take this uh, close out charge to get Hallelujah, glory to God. Something massive is coming my way today. I believe it. I receive it. It has become my reality. Something massive is coming my way today. I believe it. I receive it. And it has become my reality in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, Pastor. Good morning, Pastor. Good morning. Good morning. This is a lot of good morning. This is good. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Mr. Joseph and Sister Jane. Good morning, Mr. K. Mr. Azike. Good morning, Mr. Samuel. Mr. Azar. Good morning. It's a blessed morning. Hallelujah. God has given us the day we are taking it. I take it in by storm, hallelujah. Keep us with the closers. Thank you.